Hello YouTubers, so here we have another specimen here, but a fancy one. And that is this QSC ceiling speaker you see here. And there's the model back here, and that is the ADCI52T. Very interesting. I don't actually have I don't have no QSC speakers on my system. This one is the first. Do have some Crestron speakers, which are way back in there, but. So last week I was actually at a college campus helping my cousin pack her stuff up in her dorms, and I remember going and. It's, I remember some of those buildings, they have some of these QSC speakers used in some of those rooms. And what I mean by rooms is the classrooms, but. There were another variant of this, but she was doing her thing, and I sat down for a little bit, and I decided to browse the internet, and I came across this one for only 35 bucks with shipping and everything, so of course I had to get this. And one thing for sure is it is very well built. It's got, you know, obviously the plastic trim on the bottom, but it's all metal in the back. This almost reminds me of the JBL speaker. It's constructed pretty much the same way as that. But it is slightly bigger. And this is the grill, which by the way is friction fit. Pop that off. It's got a tether cord and a clip. So here's what the driver looks like. The tweeter is actually on its own little support here while the woofer is all the way in the back. Very interesting how they built this. And here is the tapping wheel here for the for the 100 volt, 70 volt system. Because this can do both. They can support 100 volt systems and 70 volt. And the other nice thing is too, those of you that come across these similar QSC speakers out in like auctions and whatnot. You could use these with your Adobe Atmos system and such, your home AV equipment, because it's got 8 ohm bypass. So how I have this set up as right now, it's using 30 watts at 70 volts. So this little notch here corresponds with the 30, but on the 100 volt side, it's an X, which means do not use, because I'll see that will overdrive the speaker and probably strain your amplifier most likely. But if I want to switch it to 8 ohms, I just turn that wheel clockwise to make this line line up with the 8 ohms here and here. Simple. So it's Dolby Atmos compatible. For those of you that like that kind of stuff. Nice QSC logo on the mesh grill. Sorry, and I think in this video we'll cover speaker wire too. So here is just some standard speaker wire that you can find at your local home improvement store. This is made by Southwire. I actually found this on clearance at my local Lowe's. So those of you that are looking for wire, check all the little clearance hidden spots they have in the store. There are many of them inside of inside of a Lowe's store. You just have to look. This one I found buried in the back. So this can handle 70 volts without any problem. It's actually very good quality wire for sure. It's 18.2. You could get away with 20 and 22, but I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go higher than higher or smaller than 22 gauge. Those of you that are familiar with the American wire gauge system we use here, the higher the number, the smaller the wires are going to get. The lower the number, the bigger or thicker the wires are going to get. 18 is very superior for this so there's that this wire is more than sufficient so yeah now let's play some music on this
what this song sounds like. This is a perfect song to demonstrate the the bass as well as the treble. And as you can, as you know, it is super clear. Especially that tweeter really helps. That's a actually not a bad design. You usually don't find these QSC speakers like get used in stores. You usually find these mostly used like in institutions and classrooms and whatnot, conference rooms. That's where you usually find these QSCs at. Maybe very rare to find these in a store. And before I forget, let's test the microphone. Test it with the basic page. As you can hear, and yeah, it's super clear with the microphone as well. The bass response is excellent. Keep in mind, I'm using the SQ8 amplifier, and I have the dials. The left little knob is the bass, and the right knob is the treble. But it sounds good. Okay, Stacy, can you please report to the bakery department? Once again, Stacy, can you please report to the bakery department? Sounds really good. Not bad. Almost resembles this guy, but this guy has more bass power. This one, the bass and the treble are pretty equal. So yeah, there will be a video link to a archive.org real life content video for this speaker and it will be in the description. And yeah, that is it for this video.